This video is part of the course that is batch processing with Spring Batch and Spring Boot. Link for the course is given in the description. Let's get started with Spring Batch. So for that, let's create the Spring Boot application. So open the Spring Toolsuite, click on the file, new, Spring Starter Project. Say the application name is Spring Batch. This is the group com.infibus. This is the artifact Spring Batch and description and provide the package where we want to have our main class for the Spring Boot application. Now here I am using Apache Maven with Java version is Java 8. So click on the next and let's first add the dependency of Spring Batch. Select this one. Yeah. Now let's add in memory embedded database that is H2. Click on this one. Yeah. See, now we are going with the embedded in memory database. Okay. H2. In the upcoming lectures, we will configure MySQL database. See, when you are working with the Spring Batch, right, in your Spring Boot application, if you don't have any SQL database, then your Spring Boot application will not start while using the Spring Batch. You need to configure at least one SQL database while working with Spring Batch. So here, first we are going with the in-memory embedded database, that is H2. And in the upcoming lectures, we will do the configuration for MySQL database. This is in-memory database. So we don't need to do any configuration. So add these two dependencies, Spring Batch and H2 database. Click on the next and finish. Our Spring Boot application has been created. If you look at the pom.xml, see, this is the Spring Boot version I'm using, okay? This is the latest one when I'm recording this lecture. Whatever is latest for you, when you are watching this lecture, you can go for it. It's up to you. Now let's jump to our main class that we have in our Spring Boot application. While working with the Spring Batch, right? First, we need to enable the batch processing. So for that, we need to have this annotation on our main class that is enable batch processing. Yeah, this one. Make sure you are adding this annotation on your main class for your Spring Boot application. Now, for the Spring Batch, whatever jobs we are going to create, right? For that, let's create a separate package. So let me copy this and create a new package, say configuration, in short config, okay? And this we need to add in the component scan. This is basics of Spring Framework or you can say Spring Boot, right? So let me add this config, yeah. Whatever job and its steps we are going to create, right? That we will do inside this package. And that's why we have this component scan. And to enable the batch processing, Spring Framework provides this annotation, Enable Batch Processing. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. Do you want to learn Spring Batch? If yes, then I am having complete course on it. In this course, you will learn Spring Batch in detail. You will learn what is job and step provided by Spring Batch. In this course, you will learn Tasklet step and chunk oriented step in detail. You will learn item reader, item processor, and item writer with example. In this course, you will learn how to launch a job using REST API and how to schedule a job using Spring Scheduler. There are different item readers provided by Spring Batch. In this course, you will learn flat file item reader, JSON item reader, XML item reader, JDBC item reader, and many more. Just like item reader, Spring Batch provides different item writers. In this course, you will learn flat file item writer, JSON item writer, XML item writer, JDBC item writer, and many more. Fault tolerance is very important while working with Spring Batch, and that's what this course covers. In this course, you will learn how to skip the bad records and how to capture the bad records while reading, processing, and writing the data. You will also learn retry mechanism provided by Spring Batch. This course covers real-time use case that is database migration. In this course, you will learn how to migrate from Postgres to MySQL database using Spring Batch. And for this purpose, we will use JP Item Reader and JP Item Writer. So what are you waiting for? Link for the course is given in the description. Just click on that and start learning Spring Batch with Spring Boot. So that's all for now. And we'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.